What up, though? My name is Kevin Melson from Beyond Your Limits Basketball Training, and this is my crazy hoop story. I was playing in Western Europe. We had won the championship the year before. We were coming back, trying to defend our championship. Uh, the other American that was with me the previous year, he retired from basketball. He wasn't playing anymore. So we needed another American. So one day, uh, the GM of the team, he comes to me, Kevin, man, I got the perfect, I got the perfect uh, player to compliment you. We're going to win a back-to-back -back championship. This guy, is, he was averaging like 20 rebounds in China the year before, and he put up some really big numbers. And so I'm like, cool, when is he supposed to get here? So his flight came in like extremely late for some reason. I'm waiting, playing video games, and eventually he gets here. And so they come knock on my door. So I went in and talked to him, you know, introduced myself. Told him, you know, we won the championship, we trying to repeat. And so we were talking and he was uh, telling me how he went to junior college. And he, uh, he did really well in junior college. And then he went right overseas after junior college. But he was like, the guy was like 30 years old. And so I'm like, you know, what, well, you know, what happened? And he was like, well, I had to go to jail for seven years. So I'm like, wow. I said, well, you know, what did you go to jail for? And see, and so he was telling the story. He was like, man, I was driving down the street. The cops pulled me over and they found a dead body in my trunk. Huh? Well, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. So I'm sitting there trying to act like I'm not shot. Like, you know, is he going to elaborate on this or or whatnot? But he just breathes on by. It was late, so I was like, all right, man, I'm going uh, to go on ahead to my room. You know, you get comfy in here and all that. And so I'm going back to my room. I go to sleep. Uh, get up the next day for practice in my head. I'm like, man, I found a dead body in his trunk. You know, I got all kind of thoughts going through my head and you know what this guy done did and how he got in his predicament or whatnot. So we come to uh, practice the next day and and he's not there. And so everybody's looking for the American, uh, the other American. And uh, the GM comes to me. He's like, yeah, did you uh, did you see him last night? I'm like, yeah, I seen him. I talked to him. He's like, you know where he could be. I was like, nah, I don't, I don't know where he's at. And so they went back to his room and like all his bags and stuff were gone. And uh, I guess they gave him a pretty decent uh, signing bonus uh, that morning. I'm rich, bitch! So I guess after they gave him his signing bonus, he went right to the airport and flew back to America. And so that was, uh, man, definitely the craziest teammate I ever had, even though he was my teammate for, for like one day. But it was a dead body in his trunk, and I just glossed over it like it was just like, oh, yeah, I dropped my shoe or something. It's <laughs> like it was no big deal. But that's my crazy basketball hoop story.